Hi Aquarius, welcome to your July 2021 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Aquarius. This will not resonate with every Aquarius that watches this message, and as this reading is general, not every single message in this reading may be for you. Please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone who needs to hear that message. And if this reading is not for you at all, Aquarius, I suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in Aquarius. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Aquarius and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid. This means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the rules are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the best. All right, Aquarius, let's get started. So, what does Aquarius need to know about their love life right now, Spirit? What is going on? And by the way, Aquarius, I'm tuning into an energy that is in or around your energetic field that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you at this time. What do you need to know? Ooh, new love, Aquarius, at the center of this all. And then engagement. Okay, Aquarius, so you've caught someone's eye, someone's caught your eye. Um, I feel that you guys have recently met, recently connected, or possibly even for some of you, there's some sort of reconnection going on from someone from your past. Um, but really, I feel for most of you, you're getting to know someone, they're getting to know you, and they like what they see so far. They like how you guys have been vibing together. You guys have a lot in common is kind of what I'm picking up from. Like, I don't know. I'm hearing online. I don't know if you guys met online through a dating app through social media, um, or even like someone kind of set you guys up. I'm kind of feeling for some of you, but regardless, something new is being brought into your life, Aquarius, or has been brought into your life, and this person's already feeling you. Um, I don't know, maybe you guys recently gone out with friends and you guys met at a bar, met at um, some sort of party or event, and you got each other's numbers and it's kind of been like you guys have really been talking to one another um getting to know each other um following each other on social media but this feels really positive and even what i'm seeing with this imagery of like all these angels like whispering in this girl's ear like i feel your angels your spirit guides are very much approving of this situation approving of this connection and it's kind of strange because I feel for some of you, you didn't think that you'd connect with this person as much as you have. And I don't know if that's because you came out of a relationship or, you know, it didn't. And maybe this is how they feel about you too, right? As everything can be rules reversed, but it's like someone here feels like, damn, I'm really starting to like them and I haven't even known them for that long. If this is a reconnection um, for some of you, possibly, they're coming back a whole new different person. I think they've done a lot of growth, they've done a lot of healing, and I think they're finally ready to be in alignment with you, Aquarius, and start a new a new chapter in a very long journey you two have been going through one another. Let's go ahead and pull the tarot to kind of give more of a specific scenario, but really that's what I'm feeling off top from this so far. All right, let's do this. Oh, okay. Damn. Ooh. Wow. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So a lot of air going on here. You could be connected to another air sign. Strong Gemini energy could also be another Aquarius perhaps or a Libra or someone with those placements in their chart. Does not have to be the case. But... 
yeah, I feel there's a strong feminine energy here that I'm picking up on that is having this mindset of although they kind of feel this attraction, they feel the chemistry, there's a fear of this being too good to be true type of thing. So they're keeping themselves guarded. They're keeping themselves a bit silent before they really fully reveal their deck of cards. And what I mean by that is like, you're not going to let, or whoever this dominant feminine energy is, again, we all have masculine feminine energy. This does not have to do with gender or sex. It's what you feel you most identify with energetically right now in this period of time of dominance, masculine or feminine. Anyway, this feminine energy is not leading too much on because I feel this energy of in the past where they did put everything out there when they gave their heart or they made their attentions known, they kind of felt like it blew up in their face. So they're kind of keeping it a bit more silent. They don't want to come off as if they're already feeling this very strongly. And the masculine's finding the feminine very, very hard to read right now. And the masculine is getting a little bit worried if the feminine feels the same way. Um, but I also get the sense of the masculine is really wanting to pursue this feminine. Um, the masculine is definitely the chaser in this scenario right now, and the feminine is just waiting to open up. But more and more as you guys interact, more and more as you guys talk, I feel the feminine will eventually open up. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck. Cancer energy. Some of you could have cancer in your chart. You could be connected to a cancer. Does not have to be the case. But what I do feel from this is that there is someone who does have a big heart. Who, when they love, they love with their all. They can't fake anything. They can't fake their feelings. Um, so that's why they're taking things a bit slowly. Although they already feel good vibes from this, they still don't want to open up too much for their heart to be broken. Um, I'm, I'm seeing like a hand on a thigh or like on a knee. And it feels very much like under the table type of thing. Like, I don't know if like when you guys first connected met, like they're already touchy feely with you. Um, or maybe you were with them. Someone may like someone's thighs. Um, but I feel like, yeah, they, they just, they're so physically attracted to someone here. It feels, let's just put it in this sense, feels very attractive to you that they just can't keep their hands off of you when you guys are together. They have to be touching you in some way, lower back, shoulders, thighs, of course, all with consent, right? Um, but that's kind of what scares the other person too, making it feel like, is this only a sexual motivation here? But with the Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, again, feelings are involved, but they're not being talked about, so it's making someone overthink. So let's go ahead and dive into this. What's crossing the situation is the Four of Swords. So Libra energy. For some of you, I gotta say, if this is a reconnection, um, you guys have only really recently reconnected and before very recently, I'm feeling like the last two weeks for some of you, last week even maybe, very, very recently, if this is your story, um, it's like you guys didn't talk for a really long time or you guys haven't been showing interest and then all of a sudden, boom, here they are. And it's making someone a bit on guard if this is your story. Now, others of you, this is the strategy someone isn't saying or speaking on. And again, there is a bit of a distance here. A lot isn't being said because I think someone still wants to observe more, analyze more. Again, you're an air sign. So if this is coming from you, it makes total sense. Like, I can't always rely on my heart. I can't always rely on my feelings. And maybe you guys have learned that lesson through really hard connections in the past. So this time around, you're making sure you're doing it right. You're going to see how far they want this, how far they're going to go for this. You kind of want them to make all the moves first before you open up. And I feel the need to say that this person is definitely going to meet you with that match because this masculine is very, very, um, they're very much in their masculine energy, let's just say. And you got this from right off the top. And maybe both of you have very strong masculine energy. And maybe the feminine's been a bit more covered here to protect the feminine, but it's like someone here, just when they see something, they want it and they don't stop until they get it. 
So I don't, if there's someone still waiting to see if someone will do that, I really do feel you're not gonna be disappointed as far as that goes. Um, but let's go ahead and clarify this four of swords to see if I'm missing anything. Oh, for some of you, I gotta say, someone's been offering, you know, a night over, um, a passionate night to have, but like the other person hasn't sexually accepted the invitation yet because they want to make sure this isn't just sex. So a lot of you guys, they've been thinking about what it would be like in bed with you, fantasizing about it, knowing for some reason that you'd be really, really good, but they haven't had that experience yet because someone doesn't want it to only be about that. So they're taking it slow. I don't know who that's for. Let's go ahead and see. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. So at the bottom, what this turned out was seven of swords in reverse, Aquarius energy. So seven of swords in reverse. Again, like what I said earlier, someone doesn't want to go down the same path that they've been on before, whether it is with the same person or other people. And this is why there's protection here because someone has been betrayed. Someone has been lied to in a past relationship. And if this is a reconnection of someone that has lied to you, again, I do feel like they're coming as a different person. If anyone's ever cheated on you, abused you, of course, never go back to that. No tarot reader in their right mind with the right intentions would ever recommend that. Um, but I'm saying for some of you where someone wasn't being real with you, honest with you, I think that really bit them in the ass. And that's why they're coming back to reconnect with you because they realized how foolish that was and it didn't serve anything. It didn't help them out. It just kind of fell apart in their face. Um, but someone still hasn't fully told you something that you've been waiting to hear from them that you're absolutely right about. I don't know if that's like just the confirmation that they've always cared, that they love you, that they feel the same way. Um, and this is for someone that you've been connecting to for a while, perhaps. Um, and if this is someone that has walked in and out of your life, I feel they're here to stay with the Seven of Swords in reverse. But make sure if that's the case, Aquarius, they don't sweep anything under the rug. If you're gonna come back, you have to come back with it all. You have to really explain to me why you're back why you're here, nothing's going to go unturned. No stone will be unturned. Not on my watch. Okay. Um, now for those of you where this is someone new, right? And you're still kind of protecting yourself. You don't want to fully open up. You know, with the seven of swords in reverse, I feel that this person isn't lying to you. They're not playing you. They're not running some type of game here on you, but you want to see that fully. You want to really, really make sure they're not that way. And it does feel like it comes from a past situation of heartbreak, right? Again, I feel like I'm picking up on Aquarians. If this is a brand new love or someone you recently met, you recently come out of a really shitty situation, a really crappy relationship. Um, and maybe that's why you're really making sure this time around you have it all right before you become the Queen of Cups. Or if this Queen of Cups is someone else, um, you know, they're being patient. They really do want to let you know it's safe to love, to open up to them. But they also understand the need for precaution, especially if you guys have recently met. What's crowning the reading is the Eight of Swords. Gemini energy. Yeah, I do feel there's a lot of worries here, a lot of stresses here, but someone's not talking about them. And I really do feel it's really all in someone's head. I just have to say that. And again, like this woman's looking up at a statue of the devil. Um, so again, it's like these worries and these fears could come from a past or a karmic that was really heavy. And the feminine just wonders like, I can't go through that again. This can't happen again. And honestly, if this is a reconnection and this is already freaking you out like this, maybe it is best to just hold back and not do this again because I do feel a lot of anxiety or a lot of stress or a lot of worry. And really, if they want you back that bad Aquarius, they would show you more than just keep you in this mindset. Um, I don't know who that's for, but it's for someone here. 
But this person can definitely pick up on the other person's fear, the other person's worry. They can see it in someone's eyes. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. Um, maybe someone has a unique special eyes. That could be the case. I why I've kind of picked up on that. But it's like when you guys are face to face, connecting, talking, and it's like it's about to go intimate. Like there's a a minute of worry on someone's face, or like a minute of retreat or pull back that someone just senses and picks up on. And they want to know why. But what's reading this is the Six of Wands. Leo energy. Um, yeah, like I said, this masculine, whoever they are, if it's you or the other person, they are keeping their eyes on the prize. And they know it may take time. They know it may be a bit slow, but you're just too much to resist, Aquarius. And... Again, they find you very physically attractive. They view you as arm candy or they view you as someone they can show off and show around. Um, but they're, they're just waiting and know that that moment will come when you're ready. When you guys can make this public, when you are ready to open up. Um, someone may always wear a hat, like a baseball hat, um, a beanie. Um, but yeah, I feel Aquarius, they daydream a lot about you two being together. They daydream a lot about what it would be like when you guys are together, all the things you will do together. Um, they do have plans here and they're, they're determined to make this successful with you. And again, I feel someone is going to invite you or wants to invite you to an event very soon. I'm feeling like a house party and especially because COVID restrictions are being lifted like someone's friend's party or maybe you guys already have those plans and they have something planned for that night. I don't know. And then I just heard split a bottle. Maybe you guys have split a bottle of wine before, uh, hard liquor before. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. And then I just heard drinking games. Maybe you played a drinking game with this person before like beer pong, King's Cup, whatever right and if it's not for you just leave it but they they want to have you in the bag Aquarius they already have all these good vibes about you so in the recent past we have judgment here and Taurus had this in their spread so if you guys have Taurus in your chart or you're dealing with a Taurus I suggest check, checking out the Taurus reading to see if there's messages for you there if not, um, could be a different scenario where, like, again, when I said with the angels in that new love card, like, I really do feel this was divinely guided with the judgment card and with the imagery here. Like, there is a reason why you met and already you guys had so much in common. Like, you like the same teams. You like to do the same things. You guys have the same favorite color. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. Um, and I just heard black. I <laughs> don't know who that's for. Um, black could be both of your favorite colors in some way. But anyway, it's like both of you have had this feeling for each other or this automatic awareness that there's something strong here. And it's since the moment you met. There's this strong tie between the two of you. And you're absolutely right. And even if you thought, maybe I'm crazy for feeling this already, they're feeling the same way. There's something meant to be fulfilled from this. I kind of want to clarify this judgment card to get deeper into it. The Hierophant and Four of Cups. Wow. Okay, so with the Hierophant here, um, I feel for some of you, excuse me, yeah, this is pertaining to Kind of seeing if there was a certain relationship I keep picking up on that you guys left, like you left for a reason, and that had to clear out so you can meet this person. That's coming through very, very strongly for me. Um, now, others of you, again, someone could have just gone out of a marriage or out of a long-term relationship. 
And they're kind of seeing why, though, that had to end. And you were a main reason for it. The Hierophant Taurus energy, but for me as a reader, I also feel Capricorn energy with this as well. Some of you could have met, if it wasn't at a party, it could have been at a class. A school, someone could be a teacher. Um, but yeah, I just feel that there is a very strong significance here in some sort of contract that has been realized by one of you. But again, you're not going to act on it until there's more information. Until you really feel solid in this because you want to do it right this time. What you need to know about this Aquarius is the Nine of Swords, Gemini energy. Uh, you guys think about each other a lot, a lot, all the time, okay? Like wondering what the other one's doing, wondering if the other one feels the same way. Um, you guys are always on each other's mind is what I'm getting from this. It's reciprocated. But again, like someone is worried about the other person not opening up or if the other person doesn't feel the same way or if the other person does want it to just be casual or something like that. But I really feel it's the feminine that is more suspicious about this than the masculine is. I'm hearing hickey. They could have given you a hickey, even if you haven't gone all the way. Um, or someone could have like a neck tattoo or a birthmark on their neck. Or someone loves kissing the neck, the shoulders. But I think you both of you think about this a lot, where someone's just so ready for this, the other person's thinking and overanalyzing everything about this. And the worry is coming into play within this, and it is blocking something in this. I would just have to say, like, are these worries and fears based in truth? And if they are, that could just already be a red flag of, you know, if this is a returning love, is it worth it? to re-spark again if it's already causing you this much worry. But for those of you, this is a new love. If it's nothing based in truth, then why are you living in this reality of all this happening when it's just fears and thoughts, but nothing that has ever been proven to you? And I just want to say that those fears are making some sort of block in this for those of you that need to hear that. But really, both of you think about each other a lot, a lot. And both of you, I feel, have good feelings, but one of you is a lot more closed off about it. So to see the likely outcome of this, what is likely to happen, what is likely to unfold, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, I'm going to overturn this card. But before we go, I will pull one more card from this Hidden Truth Oracle. And I'm going to ask Spirit if there's anything else that's on their mind about you, what they think about you, what they think about this connection with you. I will wait for a sign from you. Yeah, I mean, I do feel they have high hopes in this. I do feel they feel strongly about this, but they're not going to push you further than what you're ready for or vice versa, right, Aquarius? If you're all on it, you're ready, but you sense that this person's still conscious, like someone's waiting for a sign someone's waiting for a confirmation and I don't know if this reading is it for you or you're going to see more from them that's going to further prove to you that this is something that is special that is to act on that is real but someone here is waiting for a full green light and there someone's very very excited about this but they want to know if you're just excite as excited and they're not going to push you any further than you're ready but overall, they're definitely feeling you. They're definitely having a green light and they're just waiting for you to reciprocate the same. And someone even lives like the street they live on has like a huge intersection or a big traffic light that you have to wait through before you get to the street where your house is or your apartment is. Really random. But anyway, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. So again, if you'd like to join me there, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the reading. I'm going to overturn this card to see the likely outcome from this. And I'm going to pull some Oracle cards as well, just to dive deeper into this connection and what it is to give you further clarity, healing, insight, and guidance. So if you'd like to join me there, great. Just open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo. But if this is where we depart, Aquarius, I really hope that this has given you the clarity you sought um, that you need from this connection, from the situation, and that it resonated with you. And if it did, please let me know. 
drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you Aquarius, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care Aquarius.